When David writes the Psalms, he sings these songs. He's just singing out of his heart. And some of the things he says out of his heart don't look very spiritual, but they were the world that he lived in. David was very real. David was very authentic. In Psalms chapter 4, verse 2, he sings the song. How long will you people ruin my reputation? How long will you make groundless accusations? How long will you continue your lies? David recognized that there are people who work really hard to destroy other people's reputations. They don't want anybody else to work with them. They don't want anybody else to be around them. So they try to poison the minds of people against them. This is exactly what the unsaved people and the Jews did in Paul's day. They poisoned the minds of people against Paul. They did not want people to listen to the message of Paul. So they poisoned the minds of people against Paul. They worked to destroy his reputation. Now, beloved, people have not changed. Thousands of years later, people are still doing the same thing. If they don't want people to hang out with you, if they don't want people to follow your leadership, if they don't want people to be your friend, they ruin your reputation. They make groundless accusations. They continue with their lies. You say, well, how do you feel about that then? Well, the psalmist said, you can be sure of this, verse 3. The Lord will set apart the godly for himself. The Lord will answer when I call to him. Now, I like that. David said, you know, it really doesn't matter what these people say about me. God knows the truth. And when I pray, God answers my prayer. Now, beloved, you've got to get that on your insights because, you know, when people start lying about you, after a while, you start to question yourself. You start to, to doubt yourself. And you have to learn to come to God and know, you know what? God knows the truth about this. And I'm not going to be embarrassing God before God because of what people say about me. When I call, he will answer me. But there's a second response that David had when people wanted to lie and destroy his reputation. Verse 4. Do not sin by letting anger control you. Think about it overnight and be silent. And then he continues in verse 5. Offer sacrifices in the right spirit and trust the Lord. He says, listen, don't, don't lose your cool over this. Don't, don't let anger get control of you because you're really mad about what these people are saying about you. Think about all the things people have said against God all through the years. God could live with a permanent mad. Think about all the things people said about Jesus. He could have walked around mad at everybody. Think about Paul. Before salvation, he breathed out violence, okay? But after salvation, think about all the ugly things people said about Paul. But never again did he return to allowing anger and violence to control his life. Sometimes you just got to think about it overnight and then be quiet. And just, just be quiet. People who know you and love you aren't going to believe it, so don't worry about it. People who know you and love you, you don't, they, don't, they don't need to ask you questions about it. They, they know it's not true. And the people who, you know, believe it, it's because they want to believe it. So there's no point in talking to them about it. Just remain silent and learn to come and worship the Lord and trust him. All right. That was some strong stuff. Please remember, the Bible is a real book about real people going through real things.